Undefeated start for HSTW boys. You led pretty much all the way tonight. What do you think were some of the key factors in the win? Uh, defensive uh, intensity. Uh, I, I, you know, I really thought we were able to control the, the, the pace of play, but especially on the defensive end. You know, we wanted them to work really, really hard. Uh, they are very athletic, um, but uh, you know, if we can, if we can uh, make them predictable on where they're going to pass the ball, it makes closeouts a lot uh, for us a lot easier. And so, I mean, that was our goal. Uh, we weren't perfect by any means, but uh, you know, we played a pretty good uh, defensive half. Got a lot of loose balls and limiting them to one shot. Um, throughout the entire game was, was a huge staple to uh, transition into offense. Did you make it a point of getting the ball inside? You had, for the most part, a size advantage in a lot of your matchups, or the guys just kind of recognize that as the game went on? Yeah, no, I mean, that's kind of our game plan. We want to go inside out, even if we don't have the size advantage. Uh, the size advantage. Um, that's kind of how we want to run our offense. You know, if it's not with the post, we want to penetrate, get the ball inside, get it out, move it around, uh, create opportunities. Uh, like I was just talking about closeouts, you know, we want to make closeouts tough for the other team. And, uh, Great off the dribble or get a post entry, and, and the boys looked for it. And uh, the, I tell you what, it was nice to have two bigs tonight that were really worked hard and got early seals. So we're getting them the ball early too, so we don't have to worry about double teams and things like that. Seems like you've got no shortage of guys who are confident to shoot the three and can hit it from deep. Uh, how many guys do you feel like you have have the green light out there for you? Uh, well, if you ask Mantel, he had the green light there at the <laughs> end. But uh, you know, for the most part. You know, we put a lot of time in, and uh, th this is a, a group senior all the way down, and really even into our junior high and youth levels that uh, are in, they enjoy working around, they enjoy shooting the basketball, and they put the time in, and so it's really nice to see them become confident and see them execute and see the ball go through. And so hopefully we can just keep building on that, let the confidence grow, and uh, uh, yeah, green light for everybody. Is it uh, tricky to kind of keep a balance of confidence and not being overconfident? I can't be uh, unhappy to start unblemished, but you don't want to get too uh, looking ahead of yourself. No, you know, we, uh, we're proud of what we've done and we're proud of how we're playing. Um, we, we talk about adapt and adjust rather than change, uh, but these guys are making a lot of right decisions um, in basketball wise, but also as young men. And it's, it's, you can definitely see it on the floor. And one of them is, is we're going to be proud of our effort and what we're doing, but uh, we're going to stay hungry. We're not going to get complacent. Uh, we're always going to be pushing for that next level. And uh, the nice thing is they're doing that in practice. They're doing that in games. It's not something, it's not just words. And so uh, we just got to keep living out those actions and keep doing uh, what we're doing and find a way to get consistent. I think we'll be all right. You've scored 55 points back-to-back -back nights in the third quarter. What, what do you tell them at halftime? Uh, it's only for their ears. What are some of the, the uh, key priorities here before break for your team? We just had six games in two weeks, so well, we got to take care of ourselves. We got to get our legs back a little bit. Um, we've been fortunate, knock on wood, you know, when we've had sick guys, it's uh, been on a non game night, or uh, it hasn't been a whole, two or three guys. It's been one here, one there. And so staying healthy, getting the legs back, take care of ourselves, got to take care of the studies. We got to finish this next week strong. Um, we know we got to go to Loma. Um, which is a really tough place, and we we got a we got a host Mo Valley on Tuesday, who's been playing. They're much improved. They're playing well, and so uh, not looking ahead, but we got to take care of one day at a time and uh, finish this thing strong. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.